Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grandma Hershey. I'm Grandma Hershey, spelled with the U and not an E, so don't get it twisted. Okay, so today, this is episode 26. I get excited each week because I'm just happy that I'm still standing. I'm still going strong. <laughs> and I'm even happier that you're still with me. Thank you very much. So today we will be making guacamole. Hey. So if this is Taco Tuesday for you, add in some guacamole. That'll make some people happy at your table. I tell you, I guarantee. <laughs> Okay, so before we start, because this is a really easy recipe, it so good. but before we start, I want to talk about the healthy nutrition uh, value of the avocado, okay? Now, you know, they talk about the fat in avocado, but this is the good fat. This is the fat that you need so you can help with all the loveliness. <laughs> Anywho, it's not about me. <laughs> so... I did a little research, excuse me, and I found out in one large avocado, there are approximately 160 calories as um, there. Oh, I want to really talk about the top three nutrients of the avocado. And the number one is the copper that you need for your body. It gives you 21% of your daily requirement of copper, one of copper. The number two thing it does, it gives you 18% of vitamin K. That's potassium, okay? It is very good for potassium. And so you don't have to eat bananas all the time. Get your avocado. It also gives you 14% of your vitamin E, okay? And then there's 11% of your vitamin C, 15% of your B6. This, um, this avocado is packed with nutrition, very packed with nutrition. I try to eat a small one every day to cover several things that my body needs, okay, without gaining a lot of weight. We already got enough of this loving that's going on, okay? <laughs> so anyway, but one small avocado a day or half of a large one, Will give you a lot of nutrients and not only that so this young lady her name is Shade Meeks she is a registered dietitian and she wrote uh seven potential that's what she said and these are the summaries she chose it is an excess nutrient avocados are rich in many nutrients including fiber healthy fats vitamin c vitamin e vitamin B6, potassium, magnesium, and folate. Enjoying them regularly could help improve overall diet quality. All right. Number two, it's beneficial for your gut. Gut health. Okay. Avocados may be fine. Some evidence suggests that avocados may be the health of the gut. By improving bacterial filtration, it is very helpful for our digestive, digestive system. Number three, it may help reduce heart disease risk factors. Reduce heart disease risk factors. Avocados may help increase levels of heart HDL cholesterol. That's the good cholesterol. Increase levels of oxidized LDL cholesterol, that's the bad cholesterol, a type of cholesterol that's significantly associated with the thorough search. Should have had for <laughs> anyway, So avocados is good in reducing bad cholesterol and building up the good cholesterol. I'm telling you, eat your small one a day. Number four, it's a rich source of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds. Avocados are an excellent source of antioxidant and anti-inflammatory compounds like vitamin C, vitamin E, and the carotenoid lutein, okay? So 
gather that up. <laughs> but it's good for you, okay? Number five, it may help promote a healthy body weight. Maybe I better eat two small avocados a day. <laughs> Following a diet high in fiber has been associated with the body weight maintenance. Some studies suggest that avocados may help improve satiety. S-A-T-I-E-T-Y. <laughs> okay? This is a live show. You get your glucose here. Enhance weight loss and reduce belly fat. However, many of these studies are funded by the Haas Avocado Board, which may have influenced study results. Some of these results don't be on the up and up. I heard a recent one about that erythritol, but we're not going there today. We're going on avocado. Oh, crap. Anywho, number six, a smart choice during pregnancy and breastfeeding. So everybody you know who's pregnant and breastfeeding, and if you're pregnant and breastfeeding, you want to really open up and listen to this. During pregnancy and breastfeeding, your need for many nutrients significantly increases. Enjoying avocados is a smart way to get enough of certain vitamins and minerals like folate, potassium, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. Told you, all that stuff is good. And the last thing that she listed was versatile and delicious ingredient. Avocados can be incorporated into both sweet and savory recipes like smoothies, desserts, soups, salads, and burritos. They can also be enjoyed on their own with a, with a sprinkle of salt and pepper. Okay, so there you have it. Avocados are useful for a lot of things, all right? And they taste so good. I don't know why people don't like them. I love, love, love me some avocado. All right, so, and I even wore green for the occasion. <laughs> Okay, so let's make some guacamole because time is of the essence around here. We don't have all day. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, and I got the recipe posted like usual. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, three small avocados. Now, this recipe makes three and a half servings. A serving is four tablespoons, which is also one fourth of a cup. All right. And you can just eat it slow because it's really good. You want to savor every bit of it. All right. So we're going to put in three um, small avocados. I took the, uh, I the, what's that thing called? the peeling off. <laughs> and then again, you take the little uh, pit out of it, of course. And you just scoop it out and put it into a bowl. And then we're going to mash that. We're going to mash these avocados because we want them to be smooth. Take it off the spoon. I'm gonna smash the avocados. And I also put a teaspoon of lemon juice on them, trying to keep it from turning brown. As soon as you take that peeling off, avocado starts oxidizing. Okay? And that's when the air hits them and then it turns it brown. It's not bad, it's just ugly when you look at first starting out as green and you want it to be green. So you want to put a little lemon juice on it to keep it from oxidizing so fast. Okay. So I put a teaspoon of lemon juice in here. Oh, that's nice and smooth. You see how smooth that is? Very nice. And so when you're picking avocados, you want to make sure when you get ready to use them that they're blackish on the outside and they, you can squeeze them a little bit. Okay, you don't want them to squish and bust open, but they should be kind of pliable, so to speak. You know, you should be able to squeeze them some, then you know your avocado right. So if you don't eat them fast, then you might want, if you need one for the next day, then get one that's pretty ripe. And then if you want to just spread them out, then get the rest of them almost ripe, you know, and then green. And then you're going to put it in a brown paper bag. And then you just check them every day and just squeeze it a little. And if it's soft, then you know that it's ready to eat. And also, you can store avocados in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Once they're ripened, you take you a container with a good lid and you put those avocados in there. Now, I like to put a paper towel in the container because like some condensation takes place. So you put a paper towel in a container 
put your avocados in there and seal it. And those avocados do last. I've tried it several times and it works. Okay. So that's your tip on the avocados. I didn't even have that written down. You're welcome. <laughs> so now that we mash up these avocados, we are going to take a fourth of a small sweet onions. I like the sweet onions. They're not so harsh on your stomach. So I get the sweet onions and I took a fourth of a sweet onion and I chopped it up real good. You can mince it, just chop it, whatever size you like. Cause this is your avocado boo. Okay. So I got the sweet onions right here. We're going to put those in the bowl on top of our guacamole. I'm on, on top of our avocados. <laughs> and then Let's go ahead and put our seasoning on there because I like seasoning to touch the main ingredient. So what we have here is one fourth teaspoon of cumin, one fourth teaspoon of onion powder, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and an egg. And so we're going to put that in on top of our avocados. Mm. And so we're going to put that in on top of our avocados. Mm -hmm. it's really good. Now, if you're allergic to onions or garlic, or grandma Hershey guacamole was gross. Don't you do that to me. <laughs> okay. So then we have now Hatch Valley. If you have that brand, to the lowest sodium of salsa that you pretty much can find. And I think that's at Walmart. I just can't remember. But anyway, Hatch Valley is a good one. But there are some that's even less, but they're not it. At Walmart, and I don't know where everybody lives. So you just look for the lowest amount of sodium in your salsa that you can find. All right. Now this one is mild because some people can't take the heat. Everybody's not spicy like Grandma Hershey. All right. So we're gonna have uh, one fourth cup of the salsa into this into your bowl. All right. Let's spray that on out. All right, guess what? That's all we need to put in here. <laughs> it don't take a whole lot. It does not take a whole lot for guacamole. So now we're gonna stir all of this up. Yeah, right here. We're gonna stir all of this up together because we're gonna have guacamole in a minute. It don't take long, I tell you. I think the longest thing was chopping up the onions. <laughs> all right. Does not take long to make guacamole. It's very easy and still tastes so good. Oh, I didn't tell you the, the uh, healthy highlights, did I? <laughs> well, this is so good. One fourth cup. Your calories for one fourth cup of this guacamole is 39.2. Your saturated fat is 0.4 grams. Your cholesterol is 1.5 milligram. The sodium is 125.5. The carbs is 2.8. The fiber is 2.2 grams. The sugar is 0.4. And the protein is 0.7 grams. One fourth cup. You can eat without feeling shame. You're going to have to watch your tortilla chips, though. So... Okay, you see this guacamole looking nice and pretty? Well, if you want to jazz it up a little more, take you one eighth teaspoon of this tahini. That puts a kick in everything. All right. And then you just sprinkle it on top. Then you can take you a half of a Roma tomato, a small Roma tomato, and chop that up for decorations. All right. We're going to put Grandma Hirsch wash her hands. You know she don't play about that. And so you just sprinkle that on top to be cute. All right. Woohoo. Yes. Woohoo. All right. And being that Grandma Hershey don't like stuff on her hands, she's going to wipe it off with her green And <laughs> hey, look at that. Isn't that cute? Now, you know Grandma Hershey got to do her thing. She don't want you to be pausing. So she's going to check it out for you. So let's take a dip. And we're not going to double dip. Remember last week we talked about that. <laughs> okay. How that look to you? Enticing. 
Mm-hmm. You make this, you're not gonna want to go to no restaurant. I guarantee you. Only problem, y'all, men, don't stop taking your boot to the restaurant just because she can make some good guacamole. That's a special treat for you, okay? Mm, 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 mm. So good. So, next week, we're going to do those oatmeal raisin cookies. Grandma Hershey figured it out. Oh, yes, baby. She tweaked, tweaked that recipe. She found out the perfect substitution and the right blend of the different flours because it's um the flowers involved of uh, the um oh good grief almond flour and sorghum flour now if you go back to episode one you'll get those list of pantry items that you need and you will find that on the list to make everything that i show on the tv on this uh show that i do on the show if you have that list you'll have it already available and ready for you so anyway next week i can hardly wait to show it Oatmeal raisin cookies, baby. And I mean, they are delish. Perfect. Oh, okay. I promise you. All right. So, and since all we talk about these cookies, I have started selling cookies. For those who are in the area of the KC metropolitan, I don't know where everybody's living. And I don't know what it costs to ship cookies. So right now I'm just selling them local. $10 a dozen. And if you just want the cookie dough, it's $8 a dozen. Just text me or send me an email to Grandma Hershey Cooks at uh, gmail.com, spell with the U, not an E, and I will uh, we, I'll hook you up, okay? And so the book is uh, still in the prog- process of being ready in June. So get your money ready. Uh, Grandma Hershey's goal is to be able to sell it at a very reasonable price so everyone can afford them. Okay, 40. All right. So now, being that we've had this great guacamole, I would love it if you would click the thumbs up button. Then if you have not subscribed already, go to subscribe, click it. When you see the black bell, click the black bell. That way, anytime I come on, you will be alerted. Okay, and I want you to know that I'm on because I want to see you. All right. And now, I need you to share this show, share it with your friends, share it with your family, and even share it with your enemies because everybody got to eat, honey. I tell you, we got to feed them. So also, I want to start this email list whereby I can send you helpful hints, how to chop stuff, how to dice stuff, where to find the best bargains of things, and talk about nutritional things. And you will get a sneak peek of the next week's recipe before everybody else. So just send me your email address to Grandma Hershey Cooks at gmail.com, spell with a U, and I will be happy to get this ball rolling. All right. Now, we got our shout outs. I had 14 of them. I had to write them down. I don't want to miss nobody. Okay. So for those who shared the show, I want to give a special shout out to Nikki, Jeanette, George, and Tyrone. I appreciate you for sharing my show. And then those who cared enough to come see it and let me know that you saw it, I want to give a special shout out to Tiara, Becky, Vera, my pastor, Charles E. Johnson, his wife, Eileen, Reggie, John, Pamela, Phyllis, Deborah and Najee, I truly appreciate your support, and I pray that you continue to support me and grab some other folks to come along for the ride, okay? Because we in here for the long haul. 26 episodes, who the thump? So anyway, anywho, <laughs> I was going to try to do a rap <laughs> with all the names. Oh, it was all some kind of song. Grandma Hershey didn't get it together. <laughs> She's not a rapper, but she sing a little tune here and there. Anywho, so I'm trying to figure out how to look a little slimmer on this thing. <laughs> if I just hide my gut. <laughs> Anywho, that's it for the day. I'm not going to prolong you. You're going to have yourself a great week. And for any birthdays that was done this past seven days, I say happy birthday to you. Enjoy your life. I love you. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 530 when we make those oatmeal raisin cookies. Yes. 
Bye. Bye.